I figured I'd make this video for anybody having this problem. My camper took some kind of power surge and the Lipper auto leveling jacks burned up. Now, this center one, that's in the front. That's your leveling jack front brain. Okay, that's very easy to get to, very easy to change, four screws and like six plugs, which are all modular and that's it. Um, that That's how that was to change, very easy. But after I changed it, I got this code, zero calibration, that's no problem. But when you hit enter, if you get that, your external sensor is the rear sensor. Now what can happen, what's gonna happen in this situation? That's your rear sensor, I can't do anything. So let's hit enter, so we acknowledge it, but it'll trip out on you again. So if you have this problem, here's what you have to do. First off, I located the rear sensor. I'm gonna show you that in a second. So keep watching the video. If you have to repair yours, I'll show you where your locations are. It took me a while to find it. You have to power this off. And the only way to do it is acknowledge, shut it off. After you shut it off to reset it, you gotta do this. Hit this 10 times each, the front and rear button 10 times fast, and it'll turn back on. That's for zero calibration point. Now I can, I'm back in business. I could raise or lower or, or raise the rear. You know, I could do stuff. I could work on the camper. So that was a good thing. So um, now let me show you something. I'm going to shut this off because I'm going to be working on it. Now, with that being said, so if you get the external calibration, I'll show you the parts and the replacement numbers too they have on these things. I'm not a mechanic. I'm just a guy trying to save money by fixing it myself. So this was the front one that I got. Now that part number was 17410, okay, for the front one. Now they did a replacement part number, which I'm hoping will be on this box. Uh, it should be. Now, I don't have it, but it was a three number. Ah, I'll have to read it up to find the other one. But they didn't give me the, but it, the replacement frame was a three number. I thought it would be on the box and I could tell you. Wait, let me see. Yeah, I think this is it. No, 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 no. Nope. It's not giving me the, uh, no, it's not giving me the three number. Oh yeah, there it is. Maybe that's it. The 13108, maybe that was it? No, that's not it. All right. Well, I'll have to figure it out. But anyway, the rear sensor number, I'll look at the front sensor and show you the number. The rear sensor number is this 14022-B. And that's the rear sensor. And you just got to remember the placement on it. It goes on the frame like this on top of the frame. And that goes to the front of your camper. That goes to the back. Then you level your camper yourself as good as you could get it. I mean, really sit there with levels. Go every direction. Get that thing level. And uh, once you get that level, then you could reset the calibrate. So it'll always go back to that point. Now, here's the front number. It's a 304. That's the replacement. 304136. That's the replacement of the new number. If you have the old Lipper number, you're going to need Lipper number. You're going to need that replacement. Now, we took a trip, like a five-hour trip through heavy rain, and water seemed to get up into my underbelly of the camper, which kind of stinks, but it did. Now, I cut out this, and I actually found it right away. It was about four to five feet behind the rear axle, of my fifth wheel behind the rear axle toward the rear. Now, let's look up in here. I'll show you where it is. See it right there on the frame? Right. That's it, right there. Right on the frame, right on that little box with two self-tapping screws holding it in there. So I'm gonna replace that, unplug this modular plug, and I should be good. But before I even do that, I'm gonna plug in the rear sensor just to make sure that it's gonna work. I don't wanna do what I did with the front one and change it and then find out I'm not going anywhere. So I'm gonna change it. And if it doesn't give me the error code, then we're good. But like I said, so the rear one is located about four to five feet behind the rear axle on the frame rail in the center. And the front one 
is located right in your front bin up on the roof. Remember, you just got to follow front to back. See how it says front? Like it points to the front and rear to the rear. You just got to follow that and, and mount that side up, of course, whatever. So, all right. I hope that helped anybody trying to figure out the slipboard system. I'm pretty happy about that. I hopefully figured it out. If I didn't, I'll post it up there.